breaking travel news. Travel Talk with Phil Blizzard, talking to industry experts and decision makers. Aviation special, and what an experience this is to be at the Boeing plant in Seattle. Ken Gall, you're the COO of Fly Dubai. What's it mean to be in front of this, the latest baby? Oh, it's very exciting because in 2008, we had the idea. We put in an order for 50 airplanes. This is number 49, the 50th to come this fall. And six years ago, June the 1st, we started operations. It's a big deal. Big deal. So, aircraft number 49, when will it actually be in your hands at Dubai and you'll have passengers on board flying around? That'll be in July. We'll have it in July. So from here, it'll go where? It'll go to uh, Amman, Jordan, be outfitted with the interior, and then we'll put it in the service. Okay. As an operator of a fleet of single aircraft, what does that mean to you in terms of operation and efficiency? Well, it means that we have pilots that only op- operate one airplane, maintenance that only operate on one airplane, and it gives us simplicity and a lot lower cost structure. And this airplane is indicative of keeping the cost low and giving value to our customers. Yeah. Well, as I said, it's a fascinating experience in my introduction. It's hard to believe that this aircraft is slowly moving as we're talking. Yeah. The production line here is yeah. the latest in the world, isn't it? Oh, it's very innovative. And not only that, it's quiet. It's quiet. You don't hear the rivet guns going. And it's just it's so efficient. I, I expect yeah. there'd be a lot of noise, a lot of banging. Yeah. And, you know, as you no. say, it's very quiet indeed. No, it's very... And it's indicative of the number of problems we have with this airplane, right. which are really low. Yeah. Looking at the bigger picture, this is aircraft number 49 of that initial order made in 2008 at Farnborough of 50 aircraft. So you'll be moving on to another, there's a little bit of noise, we've got some noise at last, that's good. So there'll be another batch of aircraft. Tell us about that. Well, in the starting in the spring of 2016, we'll bring the first of the 11 new NGs that we just ordered in November of 2013. Mm. And that'll carry us through to the summer of 2017. And in the fall of 2017, we'll get the first one of the new MAX aircraft. Now, there's a lot of uh, excitement, a big buzz regarding the MAX. And yeah. you see here signs of the MAX, which is coming yeah. into production soon. What it would mean to fly to buy to have that aircraft in your fleet? Well, it's going to be very exciting. But what it really tells us is the hard work that our employees put in to deliver a product that our customers love, mm-hmm. which allows us to buy these airplanes and serve the market we serve. We're hearing regarding the MAX things like greater fuel efficiency. There's innovations regarding the winglet at the end to make it more efficient. Yeah. Also, a much greater range, 500 nautical miles or so. Yeah, that'll, that'll make the service area that we're able to serve probably expand out to around 3 billion people. Well, I'm wondering, because we saw a map yeah. earlier, the range. It goes as far as Germany uh, in the west. Thailand and East, so will you be sort of press going to Germany and uh, Thailand, Bangkok in the future? Well, let me say, everything's in that yeah. circle is yeah. fair game, yeah. and we'll be looking at all those cities. Now, what I'm wondering behind this, we look at the aircraft, it's green. How do we know that this is Fly Dubai? Well, if you look at the winglet, it's already painted with beautiful colors, Fly Dubai. Okay. Yeah. Thanks very much, Ken. Thank Great you. Great stuff. Thank Appreciate you. it. Thanks.